That right there is how you drop your kids off at daycare. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? When grandma and grandpa was home and then uh, they were bored, so you just kicked your kids off at daycare. That's what I did right there. We pulled up, back in. I have things to do today. So, Jackson Opie, they're at daycare. Well, it's another breezy day here in Western Iowa, and I want to welcome you guys to Trucking with Schmidt. Today, things are feeling real good. Things are going real good. So, we're going to work on our little camping project a little bit more. As you guys can see, we finished up the drawers. We got in there, finished up, and now it's time to put the organizers inside of these drawers. That way, everything has its place. I don't have to dig for anything. I pull the drawer out. That's what I need. It's right there. Oh, yeah. This is our home edition. This is our camping edition. This is our truck camp in addition because no we're not back in the truck yet but very soon I am feeling very good let's just say it's a good day we'll put it at that right there so let's go ahead get started with this project and I'll be back with you guys a little bit later on Alrighty, the big thing I want to get started with is the stove area right here. This is what we're going to be using for camping. It's our Coleman stove. We've had it for multiple years. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I don't want it all the way down on the floor. So here's what it looks like all the way down. You guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all the way down on the floor. And I don't, it's hard to mess with. And I thought about cutting out right here. To make it easier to mess with, and I thought, ah, we ain't gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is get some boards. I'm gonna figure out how to make this stay upward like that. That way I can open it. Right there it is, it's ready to go. But also that's gonna kill two birds with one stone, because we're going to be able to use this area right here. Put a divider in, of course, and put a divider in right here. And we're gonna use this area right here for cooking utensils and spices, herbs, weird stuff to put on your steaks, your meats, your pastas, your everything because I'm going to become one heck of a good camp chef. Speaking of camp chef, I've been trying to master my art of cooking, baking, preparing food at home while I've been home this whole time. Well, just to let you know how it's going, Warden informed me last night. She goes, honey, you are 40 years old. When are you going to realize you cannot cook? And I thought, well, that's just pretty darn rude, Warden. Why would you say something like that? My brat child, my daughter, in the background says, Dad, I came downstairs yesterday. You were eating something. I could not identify what it was. I had no clue what it was. It didn't look right, Dad. What was it? It was a grilled ham and cheese. Yes, I will admit, there was things that just went wrong. But it was a grilled ham and cheese. I will master the cooking, the camp cooking at least, one day. But right now, I'm having issues making a grilled cheese. So just to let you know how the cooking front is going. judging for you don't miss screw this one up
can't gauge anything. I right should be able to go up against mine. Should be. left knee was all mended up. Jumped in the pickup yesterday and I'm like, yeah, no, you're not. for the pots and pans cooking cooking stuff my biggest pot is 10 inches so if I go 12 better give it plenty of room that didn't blow anything out right those action cameras even with the night you know, like mine I have it can get rid of the fish eye look oh yeah but even that though, they're just so wide angled that you literally have to be right up beside. You can reach that one, can't you? Yeah. You literally have to be right up beside something to actually see it on the camera. <laughs> G7 here, the GX7 here as much as possible. Until I get back to work and get me that M50. stomach was hiding it, okay? Yeah. I have stomach issues. I'm glad I don't. They're inherited from you. Oh, you just dropped your tape measure. That's fine. It's a Stanley. Well, you just will call me Fuzzy Head McGee. Well, not because I got peach fuzz going on up top. I haven't shaved. The brain's still a little fuzzy doing things, but things are getting a tad better. Right now, we need to take just a little break from finishing up the truck camper. But before we do that, I want to show you something that came in the mail the other day. This right here is a foam cannon where you put the soap into it, you mix it with water and you can actually power wash things and uh, it's supposed to be to where you don't have to scrub them but we will see if that works I got this from Long Farms you guys remember that YouTube channel me, me talking about a while back Long Farms he's out there in uh, Tennessee right yes 
I think right outside of Knoxville, if I remember right. Thank you, Mr. Long Farms. I will use this. Definitely use this. I appreciate it. That is just awesome. Foam cannon. Never had one. I'm going to try it. He says it works great on his tractors, so if it works good on a tractor, it should work good on a semi or on a pickup, right? something you must need to know. You're going to hear some words talking in the background of us right now. That's going to be the movie or the show called Downton Abbey. The same woman, you remember me talking about earlier in the conversation or earlier in the video about the whole cooking incident? The very same woman that told me there's no way I'll ever be able to cook remember the whole grilled cheese incident we were talking about earlier. It's the same woman who just said, why don't you cook supper? And I go, well, why don't we have spaghetti? Any guesses what she said after that? Does anybody want to guess what my loving wife said after I said I would cook and we're going to have spaghetti? I believe her exact words were, well, you can't screw up spaghetti. No one can screw that up. That's the kind of love I get. I am a beautiful cook, just to let you guys know. I'm a good cook. I don't care what anyone says. Things are getting a little bit out of control here, but we're doing okay. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Alright, where were we? Down, turn down, turn down, turn up. There you go. Cleanup crew. Right there. If you spill anything, the German is there to save the day. That's how it works around here. He's having cheeseburger withdrawals. I actually do feel quite sorry for him. Really quite sorry for him. I'm just telling you, that's my okay, new habit. Don't mess with my camera. Don't mess with the camera. I am making fabulous food videos. <laughs> Get your head out of my camera. Don't touch. Look at that. That's a dish set for a king. What? <laughs> Get away from my camera. Go. <laughs> Scram. Yeah. Scram. No! No one wants you here. Yeah. Yeah. Speed her up, Troy. Take care of my light work for me, buddy. No, she, she hurts. Yeah. Man your feet. Spaghetti. No one can screw up spaghetti. I can screw up spaghetti. You can screw up spaghetti.
Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to put dishes away like a professional. Let me shut you up. This is how you put dishes away professionally. This is not how you put dishes away professionally. Dishes away professionally with your host, Paige. Piss out! Our plans right now are to, uh, something we already did, we vacuumed everything out and uh, I want to put carpet in the bottom of them. Yeah, I know it seems silly. It's just a truck camper, but I have time. Time is on my hands. So let's go ahead, get that done, and I will be back with you in a little bit. Today's not as cool as it was yesterday. Hey, let's go. Schmidt, you don't have a straight edge. I'm just that good at cutting lines. I don't need no straight edge. Okay, maybe I needed the straight edge. Eh, looks straight enough, right? I think so. Yep, we're back to doing it the knife way. <laughs> Tape measures are just so annoying. They take forever. This way you just put that knife all the way down in the corner, run it over. Not like that. Don't do that because it, it, this isn't pretty. Oh, this is this is horrible. Oh, oh, this isn't pretty at all. We goof this piece up. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're gonna leave this one bare wood. Maybe. Maybe we'll just carpet that part. No, let's leave it bare wood. Well, if you made it this far in this video, guess what? Another one of those three day long videos. Guys, things are going good. Things are starting to feel a lot better. I told you in the last video I wasn't dizzy anymore. And uh, now the headaches are starting to drift away and they're starting to go away more and more. It won't be long. It will not be long until I'm back with you in the truck. As for right now though, this whole video, well other than the cooking part, was about trying to finish up the truck camper. The truck camper is a project I'm really not in a big hurry for because unless it's 
unless I'm going west and camping in the mountains at higher elevation, I really don't plan on camping much in this thing during the summer. I'm one of those weird guys that needs it nice and cool when I sleep. And as you can tell, this thing is just primarily just for sleeping. It's not for gathering in. It's not going to be one of those campers that uh, I pull into a campground. It's, it's, how do you say, it's, it's going to be just for off the grid camp type camping. Um, out in the timber around here, and gosh, it'd be awesome someday just to go west and actually be camping in it out west up in the, up in the mountains or just somewhere beautiful. Around here is beautiful. I'd love to wake up to a mountain in the background so we're not in a real big hurry on finishing it up but we're getting there you know this time around we finished up a lot of things we got uh, we got our stove mounted in we got our little spot for cooking utensils spices pots and pans uh, plates and dishes and probably a couple other things garbage bags or whatnot and probably some dry food storage um, this one we actually it actually does come out a lot easier when it's just one drawer at a time. Um, right now it's tools, but it's going to be leveling blocks, um, tent stakes, hammer, stuff like that. This is for chairs, um, the toilet, the privacy tent, the table. So we are gaining. Yes, the fishing poles are there. I do plan on trying to do some fishing once the kids get home, or at least Troy gets home from school. Today was their first day of school, and well... It went really good. I mean, the kids were excited to get back to school. Another thing I'm fighting right now is water. These side windows let in a lot of water. And I put some cheap seals in to start with. Turned around, scraped those all back out. Put some nice seals in. Now we just need a little bit of water, a little bit of rain to properly see if they work. Realistically, am I going to use these to reach in and do things? No, I'm not. For the simple fact of... Between the lift, the bigger tires, it is a dually. It's hard to reach in. I do plan on putting screens in there. Uh, we have to get the windows covered up, which we're probably just going to use some of that. What is it called? It's basically bubble wrap with tin foil. Um, that is big enough for a queen size mattress. We're probably going to put the same mattress in that we put into the camper. If you guys remember back then, when I was really amazed with that whole camper, <laughs> that mattress that unfolded. That was pretty cool. So we're probably putting another queen size mattress in there for that. I need to build a shelf over here in this corner to where I'm going to put the Mr. Heater. Because, well, I'm, I'm not going to get cold. That's just the way it is. And I'm not going to use no zero degree sleeping bag. Kind of not the way I roll. I like my comforters. They make heaters for a reason. We we'll fire that heater up. So the truck camper is coming along quite nicely and I'm super excited to be able to use it. Perfect case scenario, that thing's gonna be up, ready to go. I'll get a couple little camping trips in this early fall. But then actually, things are gonna start cooling down here in the next two weeks. After, right now it's in the 90s. I think for the next 10 days it's actually gonna be in the 90s. But after that, we have cooler weather coming. But I'd like to get in it, camp at least a couple nights, but me and Dad really want to go out to the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming and spend three, four days just running around them, camping at the dispersed campsites. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? I just think that'd be the coolest thing to actually off-grid truck camp in a dispersed camp spot in a dispersed campsite, not around a lot of people. We're getting better. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.